Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop today. Today we are gonna be looking at something we did to our 2022 DRZ 400 Supermoto. So I do a lot of night riding and the indicator panel on the DRZ, whenever you turn on your flashers or your high beam or hit neutral, it, it shoots up and blinds you. Almost, and if you have a, a visor on your helmet, that glare can reflect and be somewhat of a distraction. Uh, and I've always kind of thought that. So I got a YouTube comment from someone named TJP1987. So shout out to you. Uh, and, and his comment was like, man, I, does anybody else hate how bright the indicator lights are on the DRZ? And I was thinking, hell yeah, I do. And I thought, well, why not I do something about it? So started thinking about what I could do and came up with something. Let's check it out. So I thought, um, okay, well, if I have an indicator panel, I need something to cover it up like this. And I just need to make the hole smaller, like so, to cover it up. This was number one. And I labeled it number one because this was my, my first rough draft here. I just used a spark plug box. Got to just use what you have. Um, and then I thought, well, maybe I can make it long enough where to actually clip on and be like a solid piece. So let's look at prototype number two. All right, so we got prototype number one, spark plug box. Prototype number two, we went super fancy and I used a slime tire tool kit box. <laughs> um, and this is what I came up with. This is actually pretty close to the dimension that it needed to be. The hole spacing uh, was a little off, but just to let a little bit of light through. Uh, so I took this concept to talk to a friend of mine and uh, we uh, made a CAD of one and 3D printed. So let's look at the first 3D printed prototype. Voila, and I will put on the screen uh, what the concept looked like. But this was it, it is white. Uh, the whole location was off. Uh, the neutral and the high beam were bang on. This is for your, uh, if it overheats. And then this one up here is for your signal. The window for the signal, it was cutting it off where it was just barely shining through but this is what we came up with and it actually just snaps right on. This is, as you can see, this is prototype number three. Um, so we changed the whole location, went back to the drawing board. I wanted to make some updates. Number four was a failure. I wanted to do it in black ABS plastic. Uh, the fill rate I think was a little wonky and the machine kind of messed up on the second go around. But the uh, fifth attempt, came out something I think is usable, so let's go look at it. All right, so this is not the final. This was uh, also just a test piece I tried to paint black, um, but at nighttime I did test it. It works so much better. Let's kick the key on. All right, so you have your neutral indicator there. It does look pretty bright. It's not that bright in person, so it doesn't completely blind you. You got your high beams, and then you have your signals but it only lets a little bit of light through instead of that big old giant square window. It just lets a little bit through at a time. Much better than OEM in my opinion. So once again, not completely done. We're still in the prototype phase, but this is what we came up with and I think it looks pretty cool. You guys will have to let me know what you think. So just a quick video on a concept. And overall, it's pretty, pretty clean looking. Yeah, so we went from a spark plug box concept number one to 3D printing some stuff and came up with something that I think is gonna work. Like I said, that's not the final version. We'll have something that's uh, more robust. Uh, I did paint that, that's why it looks a little bit funny, but we'll use black ABS on the next one. 
and uh, should come out looking really good. So yeah, if you guys think that's helpful, um, please let me know. And uh, yeah, I wrote it at nighttime and it is awesome. TJP 1987. There you go, man. As always, I appreciate everybody for watching. Until next time, thank you. Take care. Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop today. Uh, today we are gonna be talking about our 2022 DRZ 400. So I know you're probably wondering what the heck are you looking at? So, um, yeah. Comment section was like, does anybody else find it uh, hard, you know, 